Hello friends, welcome to this video session. The topic that we are going to cover in this session is Chemical Properties of Non-Metals. Non-metals show different chemical properties. Let's begin and study them one by one. The first chemical property of non-metals that we are going to discuss is Reaction of non-metals with oxygen from air. Non-metals react with oxygen to form acidic oxides or neutral oxides. Carbon forms an acidic oxide, carbon dioxide. Sulfur forms acidic oxide, sulfur dioxide. And hydrogen forms a neutral oxide, water, H2O. The non-metals are covalent in nature as they are formed by the sharing of electrons. The acidic oxides of non-metals dissolve in water to form acids. Let us look at their reactions. 1. The reaction of carbon with oxygen to form carbon dioxide, which is an acidic oxide and hence it dissolves in water to form carbonic acid. 2. The reaction of sulfur with oxygen present in air to form sulfur dioxide. It is an acidic oxide and so it dissolves in water to form sulfurous acid. 3. The reaction of carbon with insufficient supply of oxygen. Then it forms a neutral oxide called carbon monoxide. 4. The reaction of hydrogen with oxygen to form water, which is again a neutral oxide. H2 plus O2 results in H2O. The second property of non-metals is the reaction of non-metals with water. So friends, non-metals do not react with water or steam to develop hydrogen gas. Now you must be wondering why? This is because non-metals cannot produce hydrogen gas by discarding electrons and depleting hydrogen ions. The next property of non-metals is the reaction of non-metals with dilute acids. And children, you will be surprised to know that non-metals do not react with dilute acids. For example, non-metals like carbon, sulfur and phosphorus do not react with dilute hydrochloric acid or dilute sulfuric acid. But do you know why non-metals do not react with dilute acids? This is because they are unable to displace hydrogen ions of acids and convert them into hydrogen gas. And as you know, that a non-metal is itself an electron acceptor and therefore it cannot give electrons to the hydrogen ions of the acid to reduce them to hydrogen gas. The next reaction that we are about to study is the reaction of non-metals with salt solutions. And children, this is one of the most fascinating reactions as a more reactive non-metal displaces a less reactive non-metal from its salt solution. For example, when chlorine is passed through a solution of sodium bromide, then sodium chloride and bromine are formed. In this reaction, a more reactive chlorine displaces a less reactive non-metal from its solution. The next reaction that we are going to study is the reaction of non-metals with chlorine. Non-metals react with chlorine gas to form covalent chlorides which are non-electrolytes. They do not conduct electricity. Non-metal chlorides are usually liquids or gases. 
let us take an example hydrogen reacts with chlorine to form hydrochloric gas the last reaction is the reaction of nonmetals with hydrogen nonmetals react with hydrogen to form covalent hydrides let's understand this with the help of an example sulfur reacts with hydrogen to form covalent hydride called hydrogen sulfide let us look at its reaction let us take one more example nitrogen which is a non-metal combines with hydrogen in the presence of iron as a catalyst to form a covalent hydride called ammonia friends in this video we studied the chemical properties of nonmetals in the next video we will learn about extraction of metals